know you love Harry Potter, who doesn't? But now there is a new Fantastic Beasts movie coming out, and there are so many things you need to know. Stay tuned to find out what happened to Credence. Love Harry Potter? Check out our friends at the CBR channel. They made an awesome video called Everything We Know About the Fantastic Beasts Movie. Now let's check out some facts about one of the most anticipated movies of 2018. Duels of Plenty. There's no relationship quite like the ones that we have with our siblings. It's quite love-hate. Sometimes you love your sibling and sometimes you can't wait for them to get away from you. In this new movie, the sibling relationships are definitely something to pay attention to. In the trailer for the movie, we see one sibling relationship play out right in front of us. Newt has an older brother named Theseus Scamander. One thing you may not know about Theseus is that he is a vetted Aurora. He is also considered a hero for his work in the First World War. So Theseus is definitely a boss. In the preview, it is unclear whether the two brothers were fighting together or against one another. If they are fighting against one another, then you can only imagine what kind of battle this is going to be. Theseus is a proven fighter with a track record of tearing people into shreds, but Newt is really coming into his own and can fend for himself as well. On the other hand, if they are fighting together, then this is definitely a duo who we can't wait to see together. It's going to be downright amazing. New Locations if you watched the Harry Potter movies or read any of the books, then you know that the story took place in England. Because of this, viewers of the first Fantastic Beasts movies may have been a bit surprised to find out that the movie took place not only in England, but not even in Europe. The first film took place in NYC. First trip to New York? Yes. But if you were just getting comfortable with the NYC setting, then you better get ready for another switch because this movie looks like it's going to be taking place in Europe. We aren't exactly sure where the majority of the movie will occur, but in the preview, you can see that they are in France. In the clip, Newt takes his beasts through the French Department of the Regulation and Control Magical Creatures. In the short video, it looks like his beasts are causing quite a ruckus at the department. Do you think that France will be the location of this film, or will they spread it out around Europe. It could be interesting to watch them travel through different cities. It could add a new element to the movie that we haven't seen before in any Harry Potter or Fantastic Beasts movie. Letta Lestrange Oh, young love, isn't it a beautiful thing? At least until it goes south. We all know what it's like dealing with an ex. It's awkward and uncomfortable, and depending on how the relationship ended, it could be downright horrible. Remember the Lestrange family? Well, apparently, they have more of a connection to Newt than we may have thought. Letta Lestrange and Newt apparently had a very close relationship while he was at Hogwarts. In the first movie, we even saw that Newt kept a picture of her amongst all of his things. We we don't know their full history, but it seems a little sticky. We don't know if they split up before or after Newt left Hogwarts, and something weird must have happened between the two of them for them to split, and Newt still kept a picture of her. Who does that? He must still be in love with her. Can you imagine keeping a picture of your ex on you? How could you possibly get over someone if you're still carrying out pictures of your ex? Newsflash, Newt, you can't. Anyway, we are super excited to find out more about this relationship and figure out what exactly happens between these two and why she's back in the picture. Whatever the reason is, it can't be good. Jude Law. Close your eyes and think of a super hot actor. Now open them. Who did you think of? Well, if the answer was Jude Law, then you are in luck. He is going to be in the new Fantastic Beasts movie. He will play Albus Dumbledore, who we all know will go on to be headmaster of Hogwarts. In this film, Dumbledore will ask Newt for his help. It has to be you. And we will also get to see Newt's past relationship with Dumbledore. Apparently, Dumbledore was one of the people who argued against Newt being expelled from Hogwarts years before the movie starts. If you look at the newest edition of the textbook Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, you can see a forward from Newt. It says that Dumbledore was more than a teacher for him. He also said that he couldn't talk any more about Dumbledore without breaking the official Magical Secrets Act or betraying Dumbledore. All of that mystery just makes us want to know more about Dumbledore and and Newt and how they are connected. Their relationship seems like it will definitely be a focal point of the film. It's always interesting to see Harry Potter characters and their lives before the Harry Potter movies started. Elder Wand 
Power is always important, but in a magical world, it's even more crucial. In the world of Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts, there is always a fight going on between good and evil. If you don't know much about how power works in this world, then let us break it down. There is one specific wand that is better than all the others. It gives whoever has it extreme power. In the wrong hands, it could be extremely dangerous. Get it? Okay, well, in this movie, we see that Grindelwald has the Elder Wand. If you read the books, then you know that Grindelwald stole the wand from the wand maker, Gregorovich, very early on, so it seems like most of the movie will center around the fight against Grindelwald. The trouble is that now that Grindelwald has the wand, it will be a lot harder for anyone to overcome him, which is sad for Newt and Dumbledore, but on the other hand, it makes it much more interesting for us to watch. Newt and all his beasts against a pretty much all-powerful being? Sign us up to watch that, please. After hearing this, are you more interested in running to see this movie? Timeline. Movies can go one or two routes when they are a part of a series. The movies can either take place one after the other, or there can be time between the films. This can be as little as the next day to years in between films. When the first Fantastic Beasts film premiered, fans wondered what the next movie would be about and when it would take place. Would it be the day after the first movie ended, or would there be a substantial amount of time in between? Well, we have the answer and we are ready to spill it. The second movie will take place right after the first one ended. So we don't have to worry about any gaps between the movies or wonder what happened after the first movie ended. The movie will pick up right after the first one left off. But we won't be staying in New York. There have been hints that the movie will take place in London and Paris. Are you going somewhere? No, we're going somewhere. If we are in England in this movie, then we will be getting to take a look at Hogwarts. It only seems fair that the film would take us to Newt's old stomping grounds, right? How could the film be set partially in England and not go to Hogwarts? Credence it's always sad when one of your favorite characters in a movie passes away. It's like you're missing someone that you actually knew, right? It's easy to become attached to characters in the two-hour time period that we get to know them. At the end of the first Fantastic Beasts film, it looks like Credence, who is played by Ezra Miller, had passed away. This happened while he was in his obscurest form, which is a dark force that appears when a witch or wizard represses their powers. While it may have looked like the end for Credence, that is actually not the case, which brings us to the point of how he survived. Well, the simple fact of that matter is that we just don't know. We saw the same movie that you did, and in that first film, it definitely looks like all was lost for dear Credence. But let's look at the facts. Most Obscurials don't live past the age of 10. Since Credence is obviously older than that, that may mean that he has become super powerful, and that may be how he managed to cheat death. We aren't sure how he survived, but if the promo pictures and videos are anything to go by, then at least we know that he did survive new characters. Like we mentioned before, it's easy to get attached to characters in films. It's like for two hours or so, they become part of your family. So when new characters are introduced, it's natural to be a bit wary of them. Will they be good or will they be bad? Can we trust them? Are they really who they say they are? What's their backstory? British, huh? Yes. These are all questions that we ask when new characters come on the screen. If you are going to see the new Fantastic Beasts, then you may want to go ahead and get those questions ready because there are going to be quite a few new characters. Do you know the former The Daily Show worker and actress, Jessica Williams? She landed a role in the film as one of the new characters. She'll be joined by Wold Roth, who will play a character named Spillman, and Victoria Yeats, who will play a character named Bunty. On top of that, Derek Riddle will join the cast as Torquil Trey Poppy Corby Touche as Rosier and Cornell as John will join as Arnold Guzman. Recognize any of these names? If you think back, you'll probably notice that Travers and Rosier were the last names of two Death Eaters in Harry Potter. Any relation? Curses. In a world like that of Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts, it only makes sense that there are more than a few curses going around. We guess that curses don't necessarily always have to be bad things. You may be cursed to do something that is perfectly fine, like fall in love, stay single, etc. But in most cases, like the one that we are about to discuss, curses aren't the best things to have. In this new film, there will be a new character introduced, named Maledictus. This character will be played by Claudia Kim. This character will unfortunately have a blood 
Blood Curse. This curse will make her transform into a beast. The curse seems to be different from being an Animagus. As we know, Animaguses can turn into animals by choice. This person, on the other hand, seems to be struck one way or the other. To further understand this character, we can split up her name. The word mal means wrongful or ill in Latin and dictus means to speak in Latin. So, her name means something along the lines of speaking wrongfully. Taking her name and her curse into account, it would seem like this girl is not going to have the easiest time in this film. Teen Characters we know we keep talking about the characters in the film, but we only do that because the characters are so important to the movie. They essentially make the film, especially if that film is one in a series. The only reason you watch a series is to see how the characters' lives turn out. Why else would you tune in for another film? If you didn't like the characters in the first movie, then there really is no reason to watch the second. It's all about progression. If you agree, then you'll be super happy with what we're about to tell you. In this new movie, we will see younger versions of some of our favorite characters. Characters. These characters include Newt Scamander, Letta Lestrange, Albus Dumbledore, Gellert Grindelwald, and a new character named Sebastian. We know this because there was a casting call put out calling for younger versions of the actors and actresses who play those roles. So if you love to watch the progression of characters, then this will be a real treat. It's like watching time move backward. We started getting to know them as adults, and now we get to see some of what caused them to be like they are. You'd know Newt is not a great follower of orders. How could that not be interesting? And that's it for our video. Before you go, make sure you check out our friends at CBR and their video on Fantastic Beasts movie. Whose video did you like better? Come let us know and don't forget to give them a big thumbs up if you love anything comic book related. See you next time.